Dear colleagues, I'm very happy to join BioKorea online. I attended BioKorea three years before the pandemic, and I was very impressed by the rapid growth of the biotech pharma industry in Korea. Today, I will give a brief introduction of Wuxi Discovery Biology and our service capabilities. As a team, we started to offer biology service about 14 years ago. Currently, we are a team of about 750 scientists. Majority of the scientists has master or PhD degrees. Last year, we served 700 global clients. We have a broad client base, including multinational companies, pharma and biotech industries, and also academic lab individual entrepreneurs. We serve the needs in developing small molecules, peptides, and the new modalities. We have three service platforms, namely the in vitro biology, on which uh, we have more than 1,000 bioassays to support screening and profiling. We have an in vivo pharmacology team. There we have more than 300 disease models for efficacy testing and R&D support. We also have an infectious disease platform that supports antiviral and the bacteria for screening, SAR, and compound profiling. We do efficacy testing, R&D enabling studies. We also have a cap lab for clinical sample analysis for global trials. We support the new modalities that include siRNA, antisense oligos, gene and the cell therapy, novel vaccines, and oncolytic virus, and so on. Our team is located in four different locations in China. Our headquarters is based in Shanghai, that has all three platforms. In the city of Suzhou, we provide large animal pharmacology service. And in the city of Qidong, which is north of Shanghai, we also offer all three platform services. In the city of Chengdu, we just established non-human primates, infectious disease for small molecule and the new modality efficacy studies. On the next slide, we summarized all three platforms and in a little details. In the in vitro biology, uh, currently we have more than 340 members and provide a service that cover a wide range of in vitro biology, including target validation, assay design, and the development and validation. We have our own chemical library with that we offer high super screening ASMS for hit discovery. Majority of the work on the in vitro platform is to support uh, structure activity relationship studies using biochemical assays or cell-based assays. We also offer gene to protein to structure service, biophysical analysis, compound profiling, in vitro safety analysis, PROTEC, covalent inhibitor studies, MEA, high content, and other new technologies. We also have a large scale cell line engineering capability. On the right, right hand side, we have in vivo pharmacology services. Currently, we have more than 200 members and our facility has been accredited by ALAC for many years, which started you know, about 12 years ago. We offer service in cardiovascular diseases, metabolic diseases, respiratory, bone and muscle, CNS and pain, digestive diseases, hearing, ophthalmology, kidney diseases. We use rodents, and the larger animals for efficacy and the disease modeling. 
in addition to the in-life study capability, we also have a post-life analysis center to support all the bioanalytical needs. Thirdly, we have an infectious disease unit, which support antiviral and the bacteria and the vaccine studies. Using the strengths in virology, we also expand into vector technologies to support oligonucleotide research. We also have a cap lab supporting uh, clinical sample analysis for global trials. By combining in vitro, in vivo, and the biomarker service, we form the three so-called center of excellence for neuroscience and aging, for NASH and the liver diseases, and for antiviral research for hepatitis B and the human coronaviruses. Instead of giving you all the service capabilities, I have selected a few newly established technologies and the new capabilities in disease modeling. The first one is about our KRAS drug discovery assays. As you know, KRAS is the very hot target for oncology research. To answer the market needs, we have established a long list of assays that including protein production. Currently, we are able to produce Y-type and a, a list of uh, mutant KRAS proteins. We established alpha lysa assay to test KRAS and the CRAF interaction. We have cell-based assays to screen for PERC activity. We also have a HTRF assay to test KRAS and the source one interaction. We provide service with 2D culture and 3D culture. The 3D culture, as you know, is quite essential for KRAS signaling pathway. We have uh, binding assays using SPR and ITC. We also provide X-ray structure analysis for KRAS and the small molecule inhibitors. In summary, we have a quite comprehensive KRAS assay capability to support many clients' drug discovery needs. The next one demonstrates our PROTEC assay capability. We started PROTEC service about five years ago. Today, we have a wide range of PROTEC assay capabilities that include binary binding, either detection of uh, target PROTEC interaction, PROTEC E3 ligase interaction. We can assay cell permeability of PROTEC molecules, and we can measure dissociation constant rate in cells. The assay format are FT assay, TR FRET assay, alpha -Liza. The cell-based assay is nanobrat. We can measure ternary complex formation by tar mixing target, protec, and E3 ligases. We can also detect target protein ubiquitination using biochemical assay, alpha -Liza, TR FRET and a cell-based nanobrat assay. In addition, we can detect target protein degradation using in-cell Western, high content screening, high bit, or alpha ELISA, ELISA, MSD, or TR FRAT. Lastly, we also have a SPR assay to support the detection and analysis of binary complex or ternary complex. Antibody drug conjugation, ADC, has been generating a lot of uh, interest in the field due to its technology breakthrough and the clinical success. We established ADC, ADCC, and the related immunological assays. As shown here, in the ADC testing, we can do ADC binding, blocking assays, ADC endocytosis, and the cytotoxicity assays, life and endpoints in 2D and 3D 
culture. To measure ADCC, we have advanced the ADCC assay using live imaging co-culture of tumor cells with PBMC, T cells, NK cells, or macrophage cells. The endpoint measurement using LGH assay. The information related assay platform include neutrophil, mouse from mouse, rat, and monkeys. We can use tissue isolated from immune system, such as bone marrow, microglia, CUFA cells, T cells, and B cells. So this is a, a platform that attracted a lot of attention from the field for ADC service. Recently, we successfully developed a new hit and bind screening technology called ASMS. Small molecule mixtures are incubated with purified target protein, and then the target protein is enriched. Target protein and the small molecule binders are enriched by affinity selection followed by mass spec analysis. So this is a, a super high throughput assay. So we can spend in about a month and a half to finish the whole screen of 300,000 compounds. We, mix, make, we make a mixture of 300 compounds per well. We have a very fast pro, uh, project turnaround time. The ASMS assay is cost effective compared to other heat discovery technology. The heat molecules can be confirmed by SPR binding or by biochemical activity assays. We can also offer protein production service in addition to SAR, uh, ASMS service. In vivo pharmacology is a team of more than 200 scientists that manages a disease-centric service platform. We have the largest pharmacology service in China CRO industry. With seasoned leadership team, we have uh, strategic expansion in large animal pharmacology, particularly non-human primates, with brand new facility in Chengdu, currently has 20, 27,000 square meter facility and will be doubled by 2024. We have the best disease-centric capabilities offer a full range of major disease area service. Our practice is that best in, we offer service that is best in neurology, in NASH and the lung diseases. We have in-house e-face and the histopathology capability. We have the largest efficacy pharmacology in non-human primates in China. And we have a broad collaboration with leading institutions. Shown on the right side are the sample images from our in vivo pharmacology team. We use quantitative histopathology to support liver and NASH diseases. We use EEG analysis to support AD model validation and development. We use uh, lipidomics to support NASH analysis. We also use microbiome uh, analysis to support, to analyze uh, non-human primate studies. So in summary, we have more than 200 scientists. We have more than 300 disease models. We perform more than 600 studies per year and uh, serve more than 250 clients on a yearly basis. Each year we support more than 60 IND enabling studies in pharmacology. In the next couple of slides, I will demonstrate the advanced uh, Alzheimer's disease model development by the in vivo pharmacology team.
as demonstrated by scientists and the physicians in the field. Healthy individuals have oscillation theta and gamma uh, phase and amplitude coupling shown on this graph. There is uh, amplitude change and also phasing change and they are coupled in normal healthy brain. However, in AD patients, as they, their disease uh, progresses, you see less and less uh, brain activity in the hippocampal area. Moreover, when you measure the uh, so-called TGPAC activity in patients, you can see the normal brain show quite normal uh, TGPAC activity. As the AD disease progresses, this coupling process has been disappeared or there is a decoupling of TGPAC in AD patients. So we use this technology to apply to a AD model called 5X FAD. So this is the progress in the uh, in the AD model that uh, in the white type animal, you see normal coupling of uh, theta and the gamma oscillations. However, in the model animals, this signal can gradually disappear as the disease progresses. Very much like what happened in the human brain. Therefore, we successfully applied clinical observation to the preclinical pharmacology model. We provide brain function bridging pathology and the behavior outcomes. This model provides quantitative measurement of progress of AD, and we can predict behavior outcome with a time window of about uh, six months. So this uh, is a very interesting model that we offer service to the AD uh, drug discovery companies. In addition to rodent models, we have developed uh, a list of uh, large animal pharmacology mo disease models. We have been using those models to support efficacy studies and many IND enabling studies for antibodies, for sRNA, for novel vaccine and other new modalities. So far, the large animal pharmacology plays a major role in bridging preclinical and human clinical studies. We have models in CNS, respiratory diseases, metabolic disease, cardiovascular disease, ophthalmology, and many others. As you know, oligonucleotide has been a new approach to uh, develop uh, therapeutics. So our effort in setting up an oligo drug discovery service include sRNA and the antisense oligos. So our capability can be separated into four areas. One is in vitro efficacy. We do oligo design, knockdown study in cells, including cell lines and the primary cells. We run functional assays. We also use mouse, rat, dog, and the monkeys to study efficacy, PKPD relationship. We study delivery using cell-based assay. We can measure nucleus sensitivity, measure risk complex loading of oligos. We also study delivery in mouse, rat, and non-human primates. A very essential part is toxicology evaluation. So on our platform, we can study selectivity, cytotoxicity, immune toxicity, and the potential off-target effect. So in summary, we have a quite comprehensive oligodrug discovery service at the Wuxi Discovery Biology. Last but not least is our antiviral drug discovery capability. 
we have established a world-class antiviral service platform. Here I list the two important viral disease areas, the chronic hepatitis B infection, as well as human coronavirus drug discovery. In antiviral service, we offer in vitro assays, disease model service, RD enabling studies, and also CAP lab for clinical sample analysis. In HBV platform, currently we have served a lot of clients. So we last year we served 80 more than 80 clients. And total from 2011, we served more than 200 clients globally. We have co-authored nine meeting abstracts, eight peer-reviewed papers, and we are the co-inventor of three PCT publications. The team has performed more than 30 HPV R&D enabling studies, supported 20 plus HPV clinical sample analysis project. Human coronavirus, we have uh, protease assays uh, and uh, RDRP helicase enzymatic assays. We have counter screen assays against those enzymes as well. We have established uh, replicant assay as well as Spark or RBD and uh, ACE2 binding assays. We have uh, S protein uh, pseudotyped virus. And also, we offer live virus assay and the live virus infection model through a third party. Our viral immunology team can support studies including ADE analysis, ADCC, ADCP, CDC, and also use LSPOT to analyze T cell and B cell responses and ICS assays. So here uh, are the business contacts in Korea and Shanghai, Japan. Korea and Japan, we have uh, Dr. Cho as the leader for the business development. We also have business development leaders in China, in North America, and uh, Europe, and Israel. Thank you very much.